Alright guys, welcome back to smarthelping.com, uh, Excel models. Today I am, well I have edited and enhanced the inventory management sheet. And what I've added is the ability to query individual items based on the date range. So here you can see you pick your item, whatever item. Let's say product nine. It'll show the net count based on uh, these date ranges. So it's only taking what has happened in that range, giving you the average cost, and giving you the total value. So let's say we we enter product nine after January seventeen. It will not update, and I'll show you that. So let's say product 9 and we'll say we enter it on 2-1-2017 and then let's say we do 50 average cost of $9 and whatever attributes you can fill in and it does your total cost automatically and we enter that. If we go to our general summary you see product 9 has not updated if we change this to go quarry from say 2 2 it will update and there you go you can see it added another 50 now the average cost is a little bit different because you put in you know a new item at a different cost value and a different quantity and now you got your total value of that inventory at 743 and average cost 743 $7.43 cents then let's say we remove some or we use up some or remove it from inventory for product 9 on let's say the 4th April of 17 let's say we remove 28 and we're saying that the cost on the ones removed is $9 and a minus, since they're being removed, we'll do a minus. And one way you can actually get the cost per item when you're removing it is you can just use this this date range to figure out what you want your cost, what exactly your the cost was of what you're using up, because as you know, prices can change over time. So let's say we enter that go back to here obviously nothing is updated but if we expand our date range to go through to May oh whoops <laughs> put in 42 I meant to do 4 2 so my inventory database I'll just remove that line because that's a bad entry so clear the whole line off and re put it in there and now you can see our summary our net counts down to 72 went from 100 to 72 that makes sense our average cost uh, is six dollars and eighty two cents now if we do if we put this up to f April you can see the average cost is back at nine dollars and that was the value when we put it in and took it out so that makes sense there but if we expand it, you can see earlier here, I just was doing some testing. I put it in at a cost of $5.87 an item. So I just wanted to share with you guys that has been added at no extra charge to this template. Um, now, I actually, I have changed the price. I've lowered the price on this if you go to smarthelping.com uh, it's under business models inventory management I've lowered the price down to $99 as a one-time fee or cost um, for this spreadsheet so I'll probably I'll add this video to this um, post so you can see that it has been updated and I think that is kinda like the the last thing that this needed to really be helpful and useful. And you can see 
the functionality here is still the same. If you want to do a consolidated summary of your entire inventory um, value based on a certain date, you can do that here. All right, that's all I got for you. Uh, hopefully this helps um, some people track their inventory. Have a great day.